hey all welcome to programming knowledge hope you're all doing good so we are back with another tutorial in this tutorial we are going to see how we are going to take out the information of our mobile phone number like its country and its uh, service provider uh, the network the network operator of that particular mobile phone number so the there will be two sections in the first section we'll discuss about by using a particular phone number how we are going to extract the information of its country of that mobile phone number so let's go ahead and start writing the code the first thing what we need to do in order to get the country's information is uh, the we need to import the phone numbers by using the phone numbers we are going to uh, like get the country's information to do that the first thing we need to do is we need to install a library called phone numbers in which uh, by using that we are going to get the country's information so the in order to install that library the first step what we are going to do is we are going to use the pip command and use pip install phone numbers let's go ahead and click on shift enter so as you can see it's installed already which is requirements is already satisfied so i have already installed and if you have not installed you can use this code which is pip install phone numbers once you have installed you just need to restart the kernel uh, in the jupyter as i'm using jupyter so i'm going to restart this jupyter to make sure that the package is updated so here we go it has been uh, restarted so as we have installed the phone numbers so we can uh, use this library the first thing uh, after installing what we are going to do is we are going to import the phone numbers okay so let's import the phone numbers why we are going to use uh, import the phone numbers because by using these phone numbers and passing our mobile phone number uh, we will be getting the country history that is the country uh, information let's go ahead and click on this so we have i have imported phone numbers the next step what we are going to do is we are going to import the geocoder which will be used uh, to get the latitude and longitude uh, that is basically the the directions or uh, there, there are so many geocoders which is uh, either it could be direction either it could be uh, used for getting the exact location uh, let's say Asia or India, like the the countries uh, which uh, in the basic form. Uh, you you can go to the Python documentation if you want to view all the uh, keywords that we are going to use uh, in the geo geocoder and other informations as well. So I have also used uh, this Python documentation which is dot uh, by project and phone numbers here uh, if you can see geocoder is available so we use this command uh, in the coming part of the program which is geocoder dot area of description number okay let's now go again back to the program and uh, import the geocoder which is available in the library of phone numbers so i'm going to use the from and uh, we will be using phone numbers which we have imported so inside the phone numbers by using the from keyword from phone numbers i'll import geocoder okay so let's go ahead and click on enter. We have successfully imported the geocoder which we are going to use in, uh, in, the, in the program. Now what we are going to do, we are going to use our phone number which is let's say 9192450 or your number, your phone number for checking. Uh, for that purpose we need to first the pass on our mobile number. In order to do that first we will create a variable in which We'll be passing on our number to make sure uh, that the country information we will get it. 
I'm going to use uh, let's a variable called ch underscore number. Either you can use your own variable. I've just used it for example purpose. So inside this, I'm going to use the phone numbers, which is the library which we have imported phone numbers, and we are going to use the command dot, which is dot parse pause is used to pass on the number which we are going to import now and inside this uh, columns i am i am going to provide first thing uh, our country's uh, num pin which is uh, i am going to use it right now uh, the country code which is plus 91 uh, which is of my can uh, which is the country of, of india or similarly you can use any country uh, code of us so let's provide, a, uh, I'm going to use a random number now. Let's say I'm going to provide 9003004001. It's 10 numbers. Uh, this is a random number. So I've just provided it. And followed by what I'm going to do in order to get the country information, I'm going to use a keyword called CH which is used to, to get uh, the CH is basically country history or uh, other particular uh, this particular number that belongs to that particular country. We are going to use that CH country history. So after doing this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the geocoder to get the country history. Uh, so let's use this geocoder. Okay, and followed by we need to pass a command which is description of number as I have shown from the Python documentation. Uh, where is it? Okay, right now, yeah. So we use this geocoder description for number to get some information about the location that corresponds to a phone number. Okay, so I'm going to use that command which is geodisc uh, geocoder.description and followed by use the same description underscore for underscore number this is a command to get the information by using geocoder so geocoder.description for underscore number and inside this as we have already passed this number and kept it inside the variable ch underscore number i'm going to use this ch underscore number followed by i'm going to use the language which i need let's say i'm going to use en which is english similarly we can use for, for french fn and uh, as you can see inside this documentation we have different types uh, we have den french and uh, IT uh, that corresponds to different different languages. F for is for French, D is for Dutch. Similarly, we use EN. Now, uh, the expected output. What I'm after uh, running this program, I'm expected to get uh, India as I have used the plus nine one. So it should be coming as India. If you if you are going to use some other countries uh, code, it will it will show the corresponding country. Let's go ahead and run this. Here we go. So we have successfully got the output of the program, which is India, as I have used the plus nine. Similarly, we can use uh, other countries' code. Uh, you can try it on. So this is the first part of the program where we have successfully got the output as India due to the plus nine one. No, um, yeah, you can view this Python uh, documentation of phone numbers in which you have uh, other fields as well um yeah you can uh, use this right now i'm going to uh, discuss about the second part of program which is we are going to view this particular phone numbers country service provider service provider can uh, like the organization which uh, you are going you are using we have so many different or, uh, organizations let's say like uh, in india in, we have atel we have docomo we have uh, like sorry docomo is not now we have vodafone we have geo reliance everything will be coming in so let's go ahead and uh, do that for in order to do that the first thing what we need to we require is first uh, phone numbers and then we need a carrier 
which is used for to get the network service provider and we'll uh, use a RO which is registers organization or radio operator uh, first we need a carrier so carrier we need that so we need to import that from phone numbers just like we did it for uh, geocoder we'll use the same code which is from phone numbers we are going to import carrier this note down this is used to get the network service provider we are going to import this carrier okay then once after we have uh, import this carrier we will use this inside this program but before that as we have passed the phone number we will again pass on the phone number just like we did let's say i am going to uh, first create a variable just like we did it for ch underscore number i am going to do it uh, as ro underscore number uh, this is a sample variable uh, like example variable you can create your own now i'm going to again pass on the phone number dot i'm going to use the pass command just like we did it while uh, in the first part of the program we do it again and inside the uh, brackets we are going to provide first the country code and let's say i'm i'm going to use the same number again 9003004001 and after this just like we use the country history that is like uh, ch the that is a keyword to get the country information uh, we are going to use an another keyword called ro uh, which can be called as uh, registers organization or radio operator i am not sure about this uh, but as i have referred the documentation and other commands so i got to know about this ro is used to get the uh, the radio operator or registers organization uh, just like uh, Airtel, Geo, uh, Vodafone that is a company provider we use that and after that what we are going to do we are going to use this carrier which we have imported uh, which is used to get the network provider we use that just like we use the geocoder for to get the country information we use the carrier let's go again and use this carrier and use the dot operator and we need to uh, get the uh, like we need to pass on the command just like we did it for description for underscore number we use here name underscore for underscore number okay so we use this name underscore for underscore number to get the uh, name of that particular uh, service provider now inside this i am going to use ro underscore number in which uh, i have passed on my uh, this particular mobile number random number which is which is ro underscore number just like we did it for the uh, country information we use the ro underscore number okay so comma inside the brackets last thing we require is we'll pass en which is english here we go so we have uh, written down the code after running this program the expected output is oops i have missed the plus symbol over here which corresponds 91 to india so let's now go ahead and run and check for the organization's name here we go it's showing airtel airtel is one of the uh, service providers which is used in india so plus nine one no let's play ahead uh, play around with it i'll just change number to nine one let's see what the service provider comes let so it's showing reliance geo this is another service provider i'm going to pass on as nine two and run again so here we can see Doto, tata docomo is another service provider and yeah 93 is reliance geo so this is one more service provider which is bsnl mobile 94 then we provide 95 95 is airtel and six is idea then we have 97 vodafone and yet itself okay so 99 is airtel so this is a random number which I was playing around. Similarly, you can play around with the country codes. Uh, it will show up with the 
different country name and as well as uh, as i did it as i did for uh, after changing this uh, particular one by one number it was showing it up with different organizations name so that's it for today hope you like this session where we have discussed two things here one is for the country and one is for the service provider uh, hope you guys like the tutorial so that's it for today we'll be coming back with uh, other tutorials in a, in the next sessions will with more exciting stuff thank you for joining with programming knowledge and for the other informations you can refer this uh, pypi.org slash project slash phone numbers where you have time zones uh, where you can get time zones yeah in order to get the time zone we provide the code and we get the information uh, output as exact location with the time zone here or London similarly we, uh, we have different uh, here in this documentation there's so many uh, other uh, geocoder uh, description for valid number name for number just we did it for uh, we did it writing in the program so many steps are available here and uh, you can use this and enjoy the program and get some in uh, interesting stuff so that's it for today thank you for joining with programming knowledge bye guys